Uh, while we are on timed assessment, actually, I do want to do try one thing. So let me actually do that. I think uh, remaining 15 minutes would be more than enough. So um, you will have seen, I think, um, let me see. Did, did I link that here? I might have, I might not have. I might not have. Um, or you wouldn't have chance to see it. For some of the... Uh, the multiple choice timed assessments, I've been asking ChatGPT last semester. And ChatGPT had mixed results. It's done, uh, depending on the question set, it's done as poorly as 50%, and it's done as well as 70, 80%. So I want to try perplexity just because it's been such a better uh, tool. <laughs> I have a fear that it might be doing a lot better on the multiple choice timed assessment. And, you know, if it's getting at the level where it's doing really well, it might just mean that uh, I have to, um, you know, I, I, I just have to uh, be where. So let's see. Ooh, I think accessing this as a test stunt is going to be a pain because I haven't cleared any of these. So I'm just going to do this in a preview mode. Um, it'll still give me something that's close to what you see. And uh, let's see how well um, uh, the AI tool does. So I'm going to bring uh, perplexity again and go into thread and just uh, start asking it multiple choice questions. So let me do, I'm going to reset and student to preview. And yeah, this is the same screen you see, more or less. And I'm just going to ask these 10 questions one at a time um, and see how well it does. So now one downside of doing it this way, um, I won't be able to go back and look at the work and try to figure out which one it missed and try to get to the correct answer for the ones it missed. Um, I don't know, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> or I'm pretending I don't know. Uh, correct choice is this. And uh, if there's time, I'll try to um, judge before f submitting all this, um, which one's it's answering correctly and which one's not. I think uh, one other way I can do it is I can go through this chat log because that will be a record of both the question and answer. So that will be a way I can kind of go back through the work. And uh, if it doesn't get 100%, um, um, <laughs> whatever question is, I'm just going to skip it. Uh, 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 GPT is kind of bad with the math. Uh, uh, we'll see. I, I, right now, I'm really not thinking through these questions at all. I'm just uh, um, focusing on asking it the questions than me thinking about the question. Um, and last semester when I did this, 10 minutes was plenty of time to do this. Oh. So uh, the only thing that might have kept someone from cheating that way was you know, it, it wasn't all that good. It was only getting 50%. That's like a B, C student. 60-70%, uh, that's more like an A student. Um, and that's frankly why I uh, started doing the check-in meeting, because it's in the check-in meeting where I can actually check um, what physics do you know. And not, not have to worry about, you know, did people use GPT to answer this multiple choice, um, which you shouldn't be doing. Um, and... Uh, if you're doing it, really the thing I'm trying to get at is, are you learning physics? If you're learning physics, however you are learning it, I, I'm not going to do anything to prevent you from learning physics. Uh, if you are avoiding learning physics, then there are consequences to avoidance of learning physics, like what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm basically doing something that I'm, I keep telling people, you should not be doing this. This is cheating. This is uh, not something you should do. Um, so again, I want to emphasize that this is not a demo of what should, you should be doing. It's a illustration of the AI capability and just keeping myself informed that uh, I am aware of what um, the the state of the art commercially available uh, gener uh, the, the uh, generative AI can do. Oh, that's slow. Uh, it should not be taking that long. 
Um, there's a scaling argument you can use to answer more quickly than this. If I was actually thinking about this, I wasn't. So I don't want to do that. Uh, uh, there is a figure description uh, again. The, the accessibility feature, yeah. So it's gonna just uh, use that. Uh, let's see. Ooh, uh, uh, I don't wanna. Uh, is it able to? It might not be able to answer it because um, I didn't. Uh, so it might be numbering statement to one, two, three, four. That. Uh, statement is D or positive. Okay. Oh, wow. I don't even have to label the... Uh, again, I don't know the, if the answer is right, but well, I, I don't have to label them A, B, C, D. Uh, I'll still keep labeling it just because it's something I've been doing. It might have just learned from my previous labeling that when there are those sentences, they are broken that way. Um, or, you know, from... Billions of examples. It's, uh, maybe not billions of examples. I think to count to the number of to tokens, which is even smaller than a word, and um, and they, they, that's where they say like billions, trillions of tokens. I'm pretty sure in terms of textual examples, it's probably tens of thousands. Uh, yeah, uh, tens of thousands. Um, maybe at most a million. I think. I don't know. Big data, uh, the data sets can be really big. Um, okay, how much time do I have? Okay, five minutes, yeah. I have plenty of time. Oh, your answer choice. I wonder, so, I mean, so you should not be using this at all during the time of assessment, but I can imagine if, we, you know, after you've done it, if then you are using this tool to figure out, okay, what did I answer wrong? Uh, it might do where, oops, not this question. Uh, this question we should do aim yeah um, yeah uh, it might be usable as a learning tool where if you are giving it uh, how you answered and it figures out that you answered it wrong then it might give you the correct answer and tell you um, this is how you get the correct answer instead maybe yeah. I, that that was uh, definitely a possible use of possible proper use of this tool, where um, um, where you are actually using it as a learning tool, not a cheating tool. If the boy gets okay, um, right now I'm using it as a cheating tool, so <laughs> not even bothering to read the <laughs> explanation. <laughs> It's not like I have to hurry for the time, but um, let me get this in. And in however much time I have remaining, I'll try to figure out which ones it answered correctly. Except for project motion. Okay. Um, don't know, or I'm not gonna <laughs> answer any follow questions because answering those requires that I actually read and understood what it was asking. Uh, all right, I see. Okay, so let's, uh, let me just save a work so that I don't lose it. So I have about three minutes. I'm not going to be able to go through all of it, but let me go through the ones you can. All physical as vectors and scalars, distance, temperature, energy are scalars. Yeah, that sounds correct. So the question was probably correct. This, I'm going to guess it's correct. It sounds about right. Uh, it will take me too long to actually do the calculation. Um, moves to the left while speeding up, then both are negative, yeah. Good. Uh, physical scenarios, velocity is zero, but acceleration is not zero. Run across the field. Uh, the, here, velocity is uh, uh, not zero at the top, across the field. So the question four is going to be wrong. Um, I'll go back and get the correct answer later. Um, considerable throw and torque to a bar, maximum height, post back down. Maximum height is four times as much. Double the speed, yeah. Um, yeah, that's correct. Uh, this one, most correct statement, uh, positive net force actual points, one, uh, that's incorrect. It, it, here it's a, uh, uh, zero acceleration, constant velocity, so I missed the two at least so far. Drop a hammer, do it, Yeah, feather is not in free fall because it, the air resistance is significant. Uh, cannon is used in directly the monkeys, yes. We think, yeah, to hit it, 
패션 시리즈 넘버 1. 끝. 음. 투 보이 센스 어. 렛츠 보고 파이어 데프 오케이. 야, 데츠 프라리 코렉트. 존디 슈퍼. 45 디그리. 수지판. 야, 나 smaller angles spend less time. Yeah, that is correct. I think. So yeah, I think I should have missed the two um those two that I mentioned. Um so question four it so the correct answer here is uh a car starting up from rest. Uh from rest the velocity is zero, but it's if it's a starting up the acceleration is not zero. So if I change that then you'll be ninety percent I think. And here um the correct XL velocity is zero at point two three and six. Yeah, that's correct. So if I change this, it'll be um, uh, again nine percent. So let me try changing these two, and see if uh, that'll make it get hundred percent. If it does, then uh, everything else is correct. And those two, I think I changed it to correct answer. So let's see. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so prior to my correction, the generative AI was able to get 80%. That is better than what it was doing last semester. And you know, if you're doing, when you're doing this, if you're getting score of 80%, that's actually a pretty good score. That's what I expect from my A students. So I don't want you to feel discouraged when you don't get 100%. 80, 70%, that's what I think. Uh, uh, someone who's uh, headed towards an A should be able to do when you are not using a cheating tool and you're just working through it honestly. Um, and yeah, so so yeah, uh, uh, I guess I can go through and see where it messed up with those two questions, but uh, I don't feel like, well, well, I have five minutes, so let me do that, uh, not end the session early. So the question, yeah, here I missed it, so the ball that is, the top of the, so it has a momentarily zero vertical velocity. Um, and the, it should have realized that it's a horizontal velocity is not zero. So it's not at rest. Vertically it's at rest, but across the field it makes it so that it's not at rest. If it's a directly thrown up, then it would have been right. It should have realized that B is correct. Um, and uh, the other one was the one with the description of the figure, uh, yeah. Based on the graph, yeah, this graph. Um, so at one and eight, positive slope moving in the positive direction. Slope represents the velocity, positive velocity. Uh, this might be a common conceptual error that students makes, but because it's common, doesn't make it correct. Um, so we have some, I think when we do the dynamics lab, we will have more opportunity to confront these conceptual um, common uh, misunderstanding that people have about motion, where you know people tend to associate direction of velocity with the direction of acceleration. And uh, you shouldn't, you should decouple it. And I think that task is a little bit easier once we introduce force. So the dynamics lab, we are doing that lab in a couple of weeks, uh, not this week, uh, I think it's either next week or the week after, and uh, you will see the. Um, um, you'll have opportunity to kind of re reevaluate some of your intuitive feelings about relative directions of velocity and acceleration.